<laughs> They're terrible. <laughs> Guys, what do you think of my sunglasses? Good morning guys. I am at Toronto Pearson International Airport. I just got through the nightmare of getting through security and now I'm on my way to my gate. It's gonna be a long morning of traveling. The cool thing is because of the time change, I'm not gonna lose any time. So my flight takes off at eight and then when I get in, it'll be 10, 10 local time even though it's like a five and a half hour flight. So, magic. <laughs> place in the world whose airport would greet you with a spank shop it's like welcome to LA suck it in though guys I'm here I'm so excited even just being at the airport is so nice I have like, such an affinity for California and I just love it and I'm so excited that I get to spend more time here it's not work related and just like love on California so I'm gonna go get my bag grab my super shuttle and I'm here I'm really here seeing this always makes me feel like I'm in catch me if you can I love it. Well, look who's back from the dead. Guys, I was so tired when I got in. I like checked into the hotel, lickety split, took a nap, and it was glorious. That super shuttle ride was not relaxing. It was atrocious, but it's over now. I have a face of makeup on. I have two hours of rest in my system. I'll show you guys the room, and then I'm gonna go and get a blowout. And then like operation, feel like a human being again will be complete. So this is what it looks like when you first walk in. We're staying at the Hotel Normandy, by the way. Well-appointed little, it's not a desk because there's no chair, but you know, little console, mirror. Hello, still wearing my flying outfit. This might be my favorite part, the bathroom. And I know that's silly, but I love that they preserved everything in here. That tile, the little medicine cabinet, hello again. The sink. Like, look at the bath. Not that I'll be taking a bath here. Baths in hotels really give me the heebie-jeebies for the most part, but yeah, that's that. And then this is the room. Adrian's bed, my bed. Adrian is getting in tonight. He lives in Seattle, so he flew in separate and he had to work today, so he's coming in that way. And then through these shears, is a little view of Koreatown, and in the distance, if you can see it, whoa, is Griffith's Observatory. There it is. Cool. Anyway, I'm off to find the salon. I just found it in Google. Hopefully it's fine, but it's a blowout for 30 bucks, and I really need one of those. So come with me. Let's go explore Koreatown along the way. I think there's a live piano player here, and also this place looks haunted in the best way. Look at the hall. Love it. This lobby is everything. Palm trees. I just have to say, as someone from Toronto where people are out like walking, I'm very glad we're staying in a walkable neighborhood where like I'm not the only person walking around. Well, that is better. I stopped in at this little salon called Etude. And this little Korean mall, it's actually pretty awesome. I feel much better and I'm really glad I got this done because my hair was looking ratchet. And now I feel like I'm ready for a lie. All right guys, I'm adjusting to a time change, which means I need to get exposed to a lot of sun to like understand in my body that it's not like 8 p.m. right now and two hours till bed. So the hotel is really close to Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store that a bunch of people from like Dallas and California love. I'm not sure if it's anywhere else in the US right now, but I'm really excited to go check it out. I think it's gonna be legit, if I can find it, which is not a guarantee. Okay, so this is the complex H Mart that has it. Look, it's the Wiltern. This is a place I've only ever heard of when malls used to do these like updates on a uh, defamer. Cause I'm just gonna have a look around. It's so cool how in LA you can like walk in places and it's outside. Not everything's inside like Canada. Pretty. Here it is. Yay! So this doesn't seem like the cavernous, like huge Daisos I've seen people in Texas go into, but there's a lot here. 
Look how much stationery. Also, love this Halloween dude. Aaron Condren slash planner people. You'll love this. Oh my gosh, I could finally start using my iPad in the tub. The like OCD in me loves the idea of this that holds notebook papers and like it's a solid case. Never been to a dollar store with bras, but love it. There's so many cute little travel bags. Like, look at them. I love these mugs with the covers. They're so cute. For fall though. The stem is a spoon. I would be terrified to start shaving my eyebrows because I feel like I'd make a terrible mistake. Also look, there's this septum like thing that stops snoring. Okay guys, I don't even recognize myself because I went all through Daiso and I saw a cute little phone case shop and I didn't get anything. And I blame slash love the life changing magic of tidying up because that book made me reconsider every single thing I bring home and I think like does it spark joy? Did I get a reaction from it that's like heart palpitations and if no I just leave it. So there was a lot of cute stuff but them's the breaks. So I came in to CVS to just get a Diet Pepsi and they sell wine here guys. California's crazy. Lottery vending machine? Why not? Guys, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but they broke Diet Pepsi. Someone decided to take the aspartame out and I was drinking it and I knew this was coming but I didn't think it had happened yet. And I was like, what is that bitter taste? Is there something like it got into my nose or like am I smelling something like what is this and then I looked at it and it's like now aspartame free you broke diet Pepsi <sighs> these aren't like real problems but if I lived here I would be upset about this this is the strangest like area it's like Koreatown slash the financial district slash teens rolling around on skateboards <sighs> This city is beautiful. I had a friend who went to LA and he complained. He was like, it's like a whole city of the Queensway, which in Toronto is just like a strip of strip malls. But like, if you know where to go and you're like downtown and, or in Koreatown, it is beautiful. There's so many old buildings. Love it. If you ever see me walking down the street, my face looks like this. That's my don't talk to me because I'm walking in a city face. So work on yours if you're gonna go travel. It'll really come in handy. Oh, I'm back in the room. Adrian gets into LAX in like an hour. So he'll probably be here in like two hours. So I figured it was a good time to FaceTime Hillary. Let's see if we can get her. Yeah. Answer though. Yay! I was trying to, oh, the Orioles just scored. I was trying to call you on the iPad and it wasn't working. I miss you so much, you. I miss you too. The reception is not good, but suffice to say, we love each other and I miss her so much though. You love it here. There's like mountains and palm trees and- no, I'm getting a bunch of new stuff at Ikea tomorrow. That's exciting. I spent like three hours listening to ASMR on my headphones taking screenshots of things that I wanted from Ikea and laying them out in a Word document, like a lookbook. Here's the best part though. It was a giant Word doc, but then I cut out all of the individual pieces, like pillows, blankets, furniture, and I cut them into little, like, almost like a little puzzle so that I could mix and match. You're insane. They want to see you and mom at Ikea. Yeah. You're gonna drive her nuts. I just texted her to eat uh, breakfast before she comes to get me. So she's not cranky? Yeah, I said, so you don't kill me at Ikea, LOL, and she hasn't responded. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Adrian's almost here. I'm gonna go down to the lobby and get it. Okay, so these are Miu Miu sneakers. They're the trashiest $1,400 pair of shoes I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. 
Adrian's not gonna let me buy them. By the way, Adrian and I are reunited and we decided to come to the Grove for dinner. I wanted to come here so bad because I've seen it on so many vlogs and stuff and it's like, this place is incredible. There's live music. Usually live music makes me cringe, but I know someone's paying these people to do this, so I don't, <gasps> Fountain Show. Yay! Blanket people. I feel like the blankets were provided because they're all matching. Oh, we're friends. <laughs> this is so pretty. Yeah. That is a beautiful movie theater. This whole place is just mind blowing. We're at Umami Burger, which my friend Melissa says is amazing. And look, Mindy Kaling has her own burger now. So I guess in LA, that's how you know you've arrived. You get your own burger at a burger chain. You're such a dork. <laughs> <laughs> umami Burger. I got the classic umami. And it comes with these little skinny fries. This little skinny fry doesn't come with the meal. <laughs> Eat your heart out. Because I'm eating carbs. <laughs> Adrian does CrossFit now, so he's like, oh no, carbs, but look how amazing he looks. That burger was everything. Fuck this. That was so good. Oh my gosh, there's a whole Ugg store. Look, Adrian, it's your favorite. Bugs. <laughs> They're so comfy though. I had a pair when I went to, well, I'm not gonna say where I went to school, but I had a pair in university, as did everyone else. I know there was a Dylan's candy bar here. The last time I went to one was in Manhattan. Ready? <laughs> oh my gosh, they have an entire Mean Girls Dylan's candy bar collection. What is up with this? Look at this. I'm not a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. Mean Girls chocolate, you go Glen Coco pink hot chocolate, burn book cookie, bag. None of these have Lindsay Lohan on them. She's not getting royalties. Is butter a carb? Popcorn flavored jelly beans? Yes. Oh my gosh, I love seeing what all the celebrities like to eat candy wise. Can you imagine having them take your thing, like your candy bucket down? You'd be like, I'm not relevant anymore. Didn't get any of the Mean Girl stuff, but I did get a giant donut necklace, so there's that. So the Grove, the closest thing I can think of to compare it to is Downtown Disney. It feels exactly the same with like live entertainment and like fountains and- American flags. American flags, which we love. Adrian is like a, well you're not an American, but you live in America no, now and American. you love it. I love America. I don't ever want to leave. Guys, if anyone wants to marry me like before this trip is over, just like send me a private message or whatever. Maybe this isn't the show. What drought, right? <laughs> <laughs> 170 bucks is a joke price and the joke is on you. <laughs> They're terrible. Guys, what do you think of my sunglasses? I love these. What do you think of this phone case? I like it, it looks like shells. It looks like a shower curtain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guys, we are back at the hotel and it's time to say goodnight. Tomorrow we're off to Universal and then we're doing some kind of Hollywood tour or something, I don't know. But today was pretty awesome. Love you. Night.